What's up, guys? I'm Rasim from RossMerchTech.com, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Netgear ProSafe 8 port gigabyte switch. Now, I'm doing this unboxing because I'm going to use this switch to connect a few Raspberry Pis into a cluster, and I'm going to do a video showing you guys how to do that. But uh, let's get started with the unboxing. So, this is the box here, this is the front of the box. It's your ordinary a port gigabit switch neck here I like because it's reliable and it's not so expensive now this switch was about 50 something dollars if you guys are interested I'm gonna leave a link in the description now let's get out my handy dandy unboxing knife so we can open up this box we have to first start off by removing the plastic so I'm gonna cut the plastic right there just remove it all right, so let's put the unboxing knife down and let's finish removing the plastic. This is by far my favorite part. So let's get this thing naked. All right, so now the Netgear switch here is naked. Let's open it up. And Netgears are known to have these cardboard innards. So there goes a cardboard innard with the switch itself. So let's look at the switch itself. Pretty cool, standard looking Netgear switch. Let's remove it out of that cardboard casing. Let's put it aside so we can look at what else is in the box now these here are clips if you guys want to keep this upright you can use these clips to keep it upright it comes with every switch right, so let's remove the power brick here this is the power brick that powers the device nothing uh, special it's your ordinary power brick let's put that aside and i guess that's it for this uh, container there so let's get to the bad boy here the Netgear itself. Now this is a 8 port gigabit switch. Again, I'm going to use this to uh, create a computer cluster, a, a Raspberry Pi computer cluster where I power up 8 Raspberry Pis and connect them together to make one, I guess, supercomputer, I guess if you call it. So let's just peel this piece of plastic so it reveals the front of the device. This is by far cool. I love doing that. And this is the front of the device. It'll show you 1 through 8, all the ports that uh, you could connect to. And these are the ports in the back. You connect RJ45 cables to this. And again, I'm going to be using this to connect all my Raspberry Pis in my future video where I create a Raspberry Pi computer cluster. All right, guys, so if you're interested in this device, I'm going to leave a link in my description. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.